Welcome back to the news today. This is One on One. Mr. Ravim is the name given to IDF counter terror units in which officers are specially trained to, to disguise themselves as Arabs in order to infiltrate locations in the West Bank. The soldiers in these units are operating in highly complicated and dangerous operations. A new Israeli drama series takes us inside exactly this. Fauda has become one of the most talked about new series on Israeli TV. Joining me tonight are its creators. One of them you know very good, Avi Sakharov. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. And also his friend, maybe his best friend, Leo Raz. Good evening. So uh, just start explaining to me. I know what happened behind the scenes because I know you both. So, so I have to say this uh, to tell this to the viewers. But how it was created, from where you came with this idea? I think 20 years ago, uh, I had a dream. And Avi also had the same dream. But I'm a little bit younger, so... <laughs> <laughs> 18 years ago, he had a dream. And uh, we met in Ramallah, I think. Uh, I did something, he did something else, and uh, we met. I asked him, Avi, what is your dream? And he said, let's, let's, I want to write a series about uh, Mr. Arvim, undercover units. And I said, oh, you know, it's my dream also, so let's do it together. And we started to write it three, four years ago. Yep. And now it's on air. You know, the process in writing a series in Israel is totally different than the United States. Uh, you have tons of uh, writers, tons of creators, and here it was only you two sitting for almost four years and writing a series about what? About your own lives or about the lives of your friends or about imaginary lives and the complexity of the reality that we're living in? First of all, we have to, get to give the credit for other people because we weren't alone. We are the co-creators, that's it, it is right. But we have a, a chief script writer, which is Moshe Zonde, that really went with us almost from the beginning. And we had a team of writers that went also with us, and the director, of course, Asaf Bernstein. So it was a kind of a group of people. We both thought about the idea, about the way that it will go ahead and proceed, I mean, as a TV drama. But I think that that was a kind of a team effort. We brought the stories, you know, from... I, I was in Special Forces when I was younger than, younger than now. And... Um, I dealt with this kind of situation when I was young, when I was in the army. And Avi live on the West Bank, you know, he's, you know him. And uh, he brought his life also to the stories uh, that we brought. And uh, together, I think it became that, that what made it so good because I, we brought it all together, all kind of things, you know. Uh, yeah, the combination, I mean, uh, it's very difficult to describe as a kind of a combination of the, the, the Israeli narrative and the Palestinian narrative because we're both Israelis mm -hmm. and Jews. But at the end, we tried at least to bring the Palestinian narrative, even Hamas's narrative, into this very... Uh, and I want uh, to speak with you exactly about that, about how the Israeli viewers viewed this narrative because you were, both of you, really scared maybe from the Israeli <coughs> and Palestinian reactions. First, let's see a, some kind of a clip and then we'll talk about it. In ambulance. I think that uh, today I will tell our viewers that um, maybe you got one of the best critiques ever, that it not, it's not only the best Israeli series and uh, now it's maybe one of the best Israeli series ever. Not one of the, but they, they're saying that yes, this is the best Israeli TV this, drama. And this comes after you two were really scared from the Israeli reactions because mm -hmm. it comes in a really difficult time. It came out right six months maybe after Operation Protective Edge where 
you were afraid that the Israeli side won't understand you bringing Palestinians, terrors, terrorists with faces, mm -hmm. with stories, with families. And this is something that was surprising as well to see that almost people... Almost shocking. Almost shocking, you know. We, we were hugged from both sides, meaning from the right, from the left, from Palestinians, from Israelis, from Jews, from Muslims, from Christians. Everyone were hugging us and saying, that's a great TV drama. And they didn't get into those places of this is a kind of a racist uh, show, this is a kind of a left wingers show, they are traitors. And non no, they just loved seeing it, loved watching it. Because we're talking about the price of the warriors, both, both sides, you know? It doesn't matter if you're Palestinians or Israeli. You pay the price, your family paying the price, your, your, uh, your wife, your daughters, your, uh, everyone that deal with it paying the price. And we're talking about the price of the war. So everyone can relate to this thing, you know? Israeli was, everyone that were, was a soldier can relate to the thing. And also Palestinians, you know, we are paying the price of war. So that is the story of... of, uh, of, of but you know, today in Israel, we are feeling a lot of lack of tolerance towards one another, towards Arabs, towards uh, um, Mizrahi Jews, towards Middle Eastern Jews, mm -hmm. toward uh, Ashkenazi Jews. You feel the lack of tolerance in the Israeli society, and yet, in this series, you can identify with each and every one of the characters, if it's the woman, if it's the men, if it's the Arab, if it's the terrorist himself. Mm -hmm. I think the, the last chapter that I saw was chapter seven, episode seven, and in episode seven, it was maybe um, compared to uh, Games of Thrones, mm -hmm. to the Red Wedding. And, you know, it's, it's for me, I'm trying to understand if you had the same process as an actor, for example, during the filming, during the... Because you filmed during Operation Protective Act. Yeah. We were filming in Kfar Qasim, Arab village. It was uh, in the first day we didn't want to shoot there because we didn't know what's going on, you know, if the Arabs will, uh, will, will, will protest, pro uh, protest against us or something. But day after, after this, the, the first day, the mayor of Kfar Qasim called us and, th and said, guys, you have to come and shoot here because this is, we ha we, 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 you have to work together, we have to work together. And we came and we got, it was amazing because we, it kind, we were lived in microcosmos Arabs, Jews, Muslims, Jews, Arabs, Israelis, and we were working together during the, the Tsukaitan, and actually we talked, we hugged, we loved each other inside, in, in the middle of the war. So it was, it was amazing, and the hospitality of Kfar Qasim, the people in Kfar Qasim was amazing. I want to take you, before we're finishing, um, to the dia dia dialogues. Um, Give me one sentence uh, from the dialogue that you wrote that is absolutely yours. Hmm. Uh, there are many. <laughs> uh, I must say that for me, what, what I think of immediately is, is not kind of a war a, a scenario, or war episode, but the opposite, a kind of a love story on episode three, if I'm not wrong, or episode two of one of the Israeli undercover soldiers that is hugging his girlfriend. And she asks him, what are you doing and in life? And he's telling her, I'm working with Arabs. So she asks him, do you speak Arabic? And he says, yes. So tell me something in Arabic. And he starts to quote in Ta'umri of Um Kulthum. Okay. Uh, okay. For me, I think there is one sentence in, in the last episode that I'm, I'm saying that um, uh, I'll, I'll say it in Arabic, okay? خلصت أيام اللي كانوا اليهود راجعوا على الفصير مقابل أصير واحد. انسى من هذا. أصير مقابل أصير. That it's, uh, it's... Forget the days where uh, the Jewish are... Uh, uh, replacing... Um, replacing 1,000 uh, prisoners for one prisoner. Yeah, just one for one. And I think I, when, was Gilad, when Gilad Shalit was... Uh, uh, when there was uh, the, the, deal. the deal, and thousands of, of terrorists was, uh, were uh, released, it, for me it was very hard. Avi and Leo, thank you very much. Thank I'm, you, thank you, Lucy. Really happy to see your success. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And for our viewers, Google it and look for a translation and watch it. That's it for tonight. Have peace. Have a great night. <laughs>